Welcome to Airplane Mood. I'm Adam. And I'm Teresa. So we just came back from Rio de Janeiro, where we were living at the beach for over three weeks. Yep, it was a great time. We made this travel video for you just to get an insight of what it's like to be there. As you can see right now, we're on Sugar Beach, which is an artificial beach in the cold Canadian city of Toronto. Our first night in Rio de Janeiro, we went to this beach restaurant located on the Lemmy end of Copacabana. And here's the view that you get. There's like so many volleyball players. That's why they're good at football. So today we're joining the Rio de Janeiro downtown and Lapa walking tour. And here we are at the Carioca clock tower, Lago de Carioca, which is our meeting point. This is a tip-based tour, and the tour guide was very nice. Took us to one of the most famous bakeries in the city, and we had to try their delicious local pastries, including the koshingha and this chocolate truffle thing. I can't quite name, but would recommend if you are in the historic center. It is called Colombo. We actually like this tour. Um, usually I'm not a tour type of person, but this tour was informative on a quick history from when Rio de Janeiro was a capital to how it became today's uh, kind of cultural city. And now we went to Santa Teresa slash Lapa and we ate at this vegan restaurant. Um, they have Brazilian dishes, but totally We're here at a vegan restaurant. Hello. Oh look, a cute doggy. Sorry, I love dogs. But yeah, this restaurant, Brazilian dishes that are totally vegan. Would recommend it within the Lapa district, which is also the nightlife district. If you're going there and you're vegan, come check this out, even if you're not. And here we arrived at the famous steps of Rio. We're at the famous steps. Very nice. There's a tile. Tiles from everywhere around the world. People climbing stuff dangerously just to get that photo. Teresa is waiting in the line for this photo in the center step there. Don't believe it's necessary, but whatever, that's what she wants. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, coming here on the weekend was not a good idea if you want to spend time chilling on the steps. There's just so many people from tourists locally and internationally. Uh, it was featured, after all, in the uh, Snoop Dogg video with Pharrell, the very famous one. And this artist, the history of him is super unique. And tiles are from everywhere, every person. Uh, who donated a tile to him, he added to this beautiful artwork. And the rest of Santa Teresa, walk around, you'll see graffiti. At nighttime, we went to Botafogo for this unique bohemian hipster district full of restaurants. We also decided while we were at the previous hostel to look at this tiny park where I got like 20 mosquito bites. Um, this is Bubbles, Meet Bubbles, a tapioca restaurant that we went to. They call it Tapi, tapioca. It's a dish that is like a crepe, but made with tapioca. Here we walk to Ipanema Beach. There's surfers on specific days where it's more windy. And this is our favorite hostel that we stayed at in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, as you can see, it's like a treetop cabana within this hostel, Pura Vida. Say hi to Matt if you go there from Teresa and Adam. It's about $50 Canadian, $40 US per night. And located in between Copacabana and Ipanema. So it's a great location in our opinion. Here uh, we decided to go on a day trip to the Sugar Mountain, Pau de Azugar. So you take this cable car up on the mountain and you have incredible views of the entire city, the beaches of Copacabana, Ipanema, the favela lights at nighttime, and Cristo the Redeemer, Christ the Redeemer. 
It was a crowded cable car, but we had a lot of fun. Look at the smiles here. Um, but yeah, let us out, let us out. Here we see the views of Christ the Redeemer. And again, the entire city of Rio de Janeiro. And we came at 4 p.m. so that we could make it in time for the sunset rather than the sunrise because we're not early risers. You would have to come here at maybe 5 a.m. if you want to make it for that. Not going to happen. And I think we made a pretty good choice. It was a lovely day, sunny, but at nighttime the sun goes down so beautifully, which you will see in a couple more seconds. Honestly, this is probably one of the most beautiful cities we've ever been to. Rio de Janeiro, it's just, you can't describe it. Hey there, little man, where are you off to? Sorry, you'll have to excuse myself. I get like that when I see any creature and animal. Here is uh, a few more shots that we took. Um, yeah, I wish I was there right now under the beautiful sign of Rio de Janeiro, eating a hot dog on top of the um, Sugar Mountain. And this is actually a fast food restaurant, but they serve vegan hot dogs. And so Adam was able to enjoy his hot dog on top of the mountain, and I had an acai, acai cup. And once you're on top of Pau de Chigar, Sugarloaf Mountain, you just have to take a few slow-mo videos. Am I right? Yep, look at that girl behind me, posing, butts out. And here we have, wow, who is he? A supermodel? Aquaman? <laughs> and here, nightfall is coming. This is the sunset. And as it gets darker, you can see the city just light up with beautiful lights. Even Christ the Redeemer from far away on the tip of that one peninsula is also lit. There's two stops of this cable car and one has a higher view and one has a shorter view. It's two mountains, two peaks of the mountain. Two days later, we also went to visit the second most famous attraction, um, the Christ Redeemer statue on top of another mountain for another look of Rio de Janeiro. And the day we arrived, it was like the 99th or maybe another year's anniversary celebration of the statue. So there was an entire orchestra band and we waited for a while, but they never started playing because it turned out to be a private event in the evening. And we don't recommend staying in the evening if you bought one of those minivan bus tickets like we did, because unless it's the train, there are no buses after sunset, which was quite odd to us because why would we arrive at 4 p.m. and need to be forced to leave by 5 p.m.? That was a bit weird. So we would recommend the train. And finally, after talking or rather begging some people, some employee let us join on the train ride down because what else were we gonna do? Stay the night on top of Crystal Redentor Mountain? No, I don't think so. This is at the restaurant in Copacabana on top of the Selena Hostel, which is a chain hostel. And you can get brunch there, Brazilian style or American style. So for the views itself, it's pretty good, but the food with was otherwise mediocre. And we see bubbles again. This is the site in between Copacabana and Ipanema called Arpador. And what it is, is a beautiful rock for your sunset views. Directly on the beach, maybe a five minute walk from our hostel. And we came here a couple days during the month we stayed here. There was an ETH conference in Rio de Janeiro at the time. We got to see our friend from Punta Nita, which was pretty cool. Now begins the worst day of our lives. A tour that was supposed to be uh, snorkeling fun on the water turned out to be a red alert weather day with 
torrential rain, boat was about to flip over, our bus almost uh, fell off the mountain. There was flood of the mountain and three story high trees that were tipped over where we had to go on the very side and edge of the road on a two way lane. It was just all in all terrible. I don't have a single photo. We don't have any photos or memories of this except for this one video, which was the beginning of the tour. Second. So Rio de Janeiro City sent out this red alert warning at 9 a.m. And we arrived at this location to get on the boat after 10, 10 a.m. So in this case, we feel like they should have, for the sake of the crew really and nice customers' lives, stopped so the tour to at this point but instead they proceeded said everything was gonna be okay we didn't even enjoy it one bit we didn't get fun. to stop That's at fun. the island we, we snorkeled and i got a million jellyfish larvae bites it's actually called sea lice that's a medical term for it and it happens especially when you are swimming in the water while it's raining and thunderstorming and I had it before too when I was swimming during the rain. It's just not pleasant. It lasts slightly longer than a mosquito bite, but it is harmless. What was harmful was how they ran the tour during a red alert rainstorm. Here's a view at the boat. The boat company is called 40 Año Rio, and I don't recommend them. This is the most danger that me and Adam have been in our entire lives. And I'm not even exaggerating. On the mountain on the way back, when we uh, didn't flip over on the boat, we we're like scared for our next hurdle, which was getting back alive. Another five hour drive on this very dangerous mountain where the water was so high that you could take a swim in it. And it's one side mountain, the other side cliff two-way traffic, large trees falling onto the ground, blocking the entire pathway. Our bus driver was driving through these conditions and um, I just feel like they weren't putting anyone's safety in mind. It was just for money and for profit. We didn't even have any photos of ourselves on this tour that we paid for, with no refund, by the way. And we're not exactly sure what we were supposed to see, but I'm sure on a sunny day, it would have been nice. The name of the tour we did sign up for was Agra dos Reis. And we were supposed to see the Ilha Grande, which is the big island of Rio de Janeiro, along with a few more stops and other islands uh, to snorkel in. Here we are, just experiencing the worst day of our entire lives. on this bus for many, many hours. The window in the back shattered. Trees, dangerous roads. The boat almost flipped over. We're soaking wet, head to toe, soaked. Four hours on this bus, no stopping. The light in the bathroom is broken. The ceiling is leaking. Here, it's leaking a lot. People have no shirts, no food, no water. Dinner time was two hours ago. We were soaking wet, the entire bus was wet, stinky, the window in the back had broken, we were freezing to death, and they still drove in the unbearable conditions. So we decided the very next day to get Caprinhas, the local Brazilian drink, <laughs> to make ourselves feel better, and sure it did. This is where the surfers are. You can see in the water, lots of people surfing. Whenever it's slightly more of a windier condition, Even the surfers wouldn't go out on a red alert day. Just here in Impanima Beach, Rio de Janeiro, watching the surfers today. Teresa is uh, sitting over there. You can see her, she is right here. 
and uh, it's just a cloudy day and it's cold. So not really recommending. Um, you know, the weather here is not perfect every day, that's for sure. And the day after it was sunny again, we spent the rest of our days just chilling at the beach. And one of those days, we also came to the Rio de Janeiro Botanical Garden. And it's a park for 15 Canadian dollars. You get to have unlimited time spent in this park. It's very beautiful. They have many regions of plants from um, everywhere in the world almost, from the Amazonias to Asia to Africa. And we had uh, a few photos with school children there. It was very cute. This is that famous photo that people take. The botanical garden. And this is the main attraction, the fountain of the center. Me. And there's some very beautiful large trees. Toucans, other wildlife you can see. But this is what it looks like on a very hot, uncomfortable day. And I'd rather be swimming. I'd rather be swimming too, but we both heard that it's a must-see when in Rio, and we agree. Maybe on a rainier day, take an umbrella and come to the botanical garden. One of these tiny monkey things, I guess. There's two there. They are so tiny, we wanted to take one with us, but that would definitely be illegal. And they made this screeching sound with their voices, and it's a very high-pitched sound. But they're definitely more entertaining than our Canadian squirrels. Got photo bombed by a tiny bee. We loved Brazil and we loved Rio de Janeiro despite that one bad tour. It doesn't make the rest of the three weeks that we stayed there less enjoyable. Rio de Janeiro is a city we love and recommend you to visit. If you have any questions, just ask.